lot has been going on in the world in the past couple of weeks with BLM protests in America and in other parts of the world and in Nigeria we've been dealing with that as well as large number of rape cases that have been brought to social media so today I'm going to be discussing rape culture in Nigeria especially as exacerbated by our religious and cultural traditions and just bringing awareness to rape in general and some elements that we as a Nigerian society may have ignored over the past couple of years. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. You can hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a thing. As I said earlier today, I'm going to be discussing about rape culture in Nigeria. The past couple of weeks have just been a lot. I literally had to pause posting content on my YouTube channel just so that other voices could be heard, especially as it relates to rape. We're still dealing with the whole justice for Uwa and justice for Tina, you know, one of who went to a church to go and study and she was raped by 11 men and she was brutally tortured and killed. You know, we're still trying to get over that and then the news comes out a couple of days ago, another 13 year old girl is raped in Kaduna and one is just asking, what is going on in nigeria because it's just too much we need to ask ourselves what are we doing in our society that is sort of i don't want to use the word promoting but what is encouraging rape culture what is encouraging um men feeling entitled to women's bodies like what are the little things that we've been ignoring over the years in our society in our religious and cultural traditions that we hold so dearly to ourselves what are those things that we've done or we're doing that also encourages this i'm going to start with some statistics the 2014 national survey on violence against children says that of 24.8 percent of women aged 18 to 24 who have experienced sexual abuse before 18 years old five percent sought help and just a merely like a measly 3.5 percent received any assistance so why is this so like Rape is one of the most underreported crimes in Nigeria and it's one of the most difficult to prove even in our judicial system. I'm always so sad when I see how our law takes rape and so men are raping their wives and getting away with it and you know in our culture we're like oh after all why did he marry you? Is it not so that you can be having sex with him sex as a, as a general topic is something that is not spoken about enough in our culture it's something that is seen as evil or bad or as a taboo and parents don't want to talk about it with their children people in higher positions in churches nobody wants to talk about it and these are the little things that actually trigger a lot of things in our society today so why is it that a lot of women who have experienced rape or sexual abuse don't come forward in nigeria because obviously a lot of people are discouraged nobody wants to come forward nobody wants to say anything nobody wants to bring any sort of shame in quotes to their family because some girls have opened up to their mothers and the mothers have been like oh you're going to bring disgrace there's this shame that comes with speaking about sex that comes speaking about sexual abuse rape and others because most of of the time rape is usually done by close family members or people that the victim may actually know and you see situations where she may reach out to her mother and tell her something and the mother is like oh let's keep quiet they try to even arrange if they even know the family of the rapist they'll go and reach out to that person try and see how they can settle the situation in a quiet way and you see those type of things don't encourage people to come forward there's also victim shaming which happens a lot on social media a lot of people are always wondering oh why is it now after 10 years why is it now after five years the day that it happened why didn't she say anything that night she didn't know that she would go to the police station and it's like you can't say these things if you've not been in the position of somebody who has been raped before. Like, you don't understand that this is something that is so sensitive. In fact, half of the time, the person is in shock, trying to get themselves, trying to understand what has just happened. Some people, their bodies and their minds shut down. And for you to make such statements, no matter how 
investigative you think you're being whether it's social media or to the person those are just wrong statements and these are the things that encourage rape culture in nigeria you cannot be asking a victim who is coming out after two years who is coming out after one year to share their story as maybe as some form of relief or maybe to encourage other people and you're saying why is it now that the person is coming out the worst that we hear is why was she out at 10 o'clock? Why was she out at 9? People are in their houses and they're getting raped. So are you saying that we should not survive? And these questions are being asked by Nigerians, from the Nigerian police investigators to people in the judicial system to general uncles and aunties around us. Everybody is asking these questions. And the truth is, if you're asking that question, then you're probably a rape apologist. If you don't know what a rape apologist is, it's somebody who sort of excuses or makes, tries to just justify why a rape might have happened a lady is walking out of her house just strolling at around 10 o'clock and she's raped and you're saying why was she out at 10 don't you know that you're supposed to be in your house by 10 if you're out by 10 then you're going to get raped but you're not looking at the people who are actually committing the crime of rape you're looking at the victims and your victim shaming your victim blaming and then you're saying no i'm against rape oh no rape is such a heinous crime but then at the end of the day, what I, what comments are you making to the women? In all essence, what you're telling us is we should just sit at home. And even at home, we're not safe. A couple of days ago, someone said that a plumber came to her house to do something. And another plumber came to join that one. And she was genuinely scared because she was at home. She didn't know when she ran to carry a knife, you know, and bring out cake to act like as if she was cutting up the cake. But she was actually really, really terrified. And I can understand, especially for women who live alone. They will even ask you, what were you doing living alone? Don't you know that you should live with your, with your parents before you get married? There's always so much blame on women. There's so much pressure, even in terms of morality, on women in the Nigerian society. Look at the school that somebody was raped. The VC came out and made a statement and was condemning rape and said, while we condemn rape, we also want to tell people to be cautious of the kind of company that they keep. What type of statement is that? How can you in one breath be condemning rape and telling somebody be cautious of the company you keep? As in to what extent am I to be cautious as a Nigerian woman of the company that I keep? Is it that when a plumber wants to pick something in my house, I should sit down and do some background due diligence on him before he comes to fix a pipe in my house some of these statements that we make absolve the rapist of any form of guilt any form of remorse we do not condemn rapists enough in our society and everything is always on the women who go through this in the religious setting there is so much pressure on women to uphold higher standards of morality as a woman you're told to keep your head down don't dance too much don't do this especially if you have a curvy sort of frame don't distract men you know you're distracting men from their place of worship like you're going to cause a struggle to them and the woman is just taught to shrivel into herself just keep on living in fear even pastors in churches have been sort of called out in the past couple of years over sexual harassment sexual abuse and rape and the society still victim shames you'll be surprised even women victim shame other women somebody was there on twitter the other day saying i condemn rape and rapists but then in the same breath you're telling women advise young girls not to be stupid that was what the person said and this person has thousands tens of thousands of followers on twitter the person said advise your daughters not to be going out at night that they should not be stupid if you go out to a club or you go out to a lounge or you're out at after 10 o'clock obviously you're going to get raped what type of statement is that and what type of things are we promoting even to our sons everybody says raise your sons well people are now looking at the same women to say raise your sons well and not just daughters what about the men in the society can we hold men accountable in the society as well as women for raising children it starts with the mentality you can not have the mentality that a woman stepping out at 10 o'clock oh that means that she deserves to be raped why should you have that mentality and then in the same breath condemn rape we really really need to be more accountable in our nigerian society across board a lot of societal traditions that we've carried on over the years that have not favored, favored us we need to drop it if a woman says no it is no even in your group of friends as men what do you guys discuss you you take a girl out you spend money on her maybe for lunch for dinner and you take her back to your house you guys are just in, you're having a nice time just watching a movie and you try to make a move on her and she says no you you start getting upset you probably end up raping her or something or she gives in 
because she doesn't want to experience the whole struggle then you go over to your friends and you're just in if you're having discussions with somebody that is a guy in your circle and he's making such statements like i spent money on her and she told me at the end of the day oh she's on her period oh she doesn't want to have sex with me you need to call your friend out and tell him that it is wrong it's not even about rape some people have been sexually abused over and over and over again be it groping cat calling they've narrowly escaped rape experiences with their lives and you're sitting down there with your guys drinking beer and then you go on twitter and say stop rape no you are probably a rape apologist because you think oh it's about the heinous crime of throwing a girl on the bed tearing her clothes no it starts from the mentality of you feeling like you are entitled to her body and this is for the men out there we men really need to hold themselves accountable especially people who have friends who make this type of comments so what can you do in terms of rape culture in nigeria just so that all these things that we have carried with us can be reduced and we can just see and have a better future ahead what can you do one you can talk to your children about consent what is the importance of consent what does consent mean it's never too early and we need to normalize talking about sex we need to normalize talking about what it means when you do not get consent from the opposite sex before you make sexual advances towards them enough is enough of us sitting down in one corner saying oh no it's forbidden we can't talk about sex we need to bring this out so that people's lives can stop being destroyed men you need to raise your voice in this struggle in this fight in this protesting it's not just a woman's issue it is a man's issue as well some of you men are going to have daughters don't you want an environment where a woman can be free to express herself a woman can be free to go out hang out with her friends and know that she's going to come back safely it starts with you like i said earlier men if you're having conversations with your guys and your friends and they make inappropriate comments or you notice that one of them has a weird mentality you need to call them out don't be ashamed to call them out and if they are still you know being stubborn and saying no i beg get out you know be g you know be guy then you need to know who your friends are and get rid of those type of friends or probably report them to the police because a girl's life literally depends on those type of conversations that you guys have while you're drinking out in a lounge or in a bar another way is churches and religious organizations need to also hold men accountable as well we need to teach men about the importance of consent don't make it seem like as if oh because someone's slit is one inch high than normal so a man cannot control himself and all the pressure is on the woman women grow up in religious institutions and organizations feeling like oh i should not even be seen i should not even be heard there's already enough patriarchy that goes on in religious institutions and then you now add it to oh you need to look proper in fact if you don't look proper you should not come out of your house they send women back home saying oh what is the basis of this you're going to be a distraction for the men is there any accountability for men in terms of being able to control themselves also if you know that you're in a religious setting where women not even one woman women have come out against your pastor against your imam against whoever and have said that this person has raped me and you're making excuses for the pastor saying oh he's anointed oh this is a plan to bring down the church honestly you really 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 need to think about what you're saying because your daughters are watching your nieces are watching and if they've had any sexual experiences any sexual abuse rape experiences they're not going to come and tell you you probably hear it first on social media because they are hearing the way you handle things some of you elderly women you beat your children when they come to tell you that they've been raped by that uncle or by that father and and some of you fathers are not even present because it's the woman's job to raise their daughter we all need to take responsibility and we all need to be accountable for such things that are happening in our society in nigeria at the moment it may be hard because our society has instilled in us this weird question thing where we ask oh why was she there at this time she was out late doesn't she know that that area is dangerous you know and subconsciously you ask these questions how are we as women supposed to know that when we step out of our house we are not guaranteed that we will come back safe in nigeria because some man who has been taught that it's okay for him to touch us whether it's in church indirectly in the mosque in our society there is no accountability police they're doing a bad job he feels well whatever i can do whatever i want and he gets away with it rape is one of the most underreported crimes in nigeria because as you can see on social media that's why a lot of women are scared to come out to to say anything there is this huge stigma once you've been raped in fact someone made a comment one time and said that of course why should a woman come out to say that she has been raped that who would even want a used 
cargo or something silly like that. There was a woman who came out a couple of years ago and alleged that a prominent pastor raped her and a lot of people bashed her. She was the only one who came out at that time, but now a lot of other people have come out now. A lot of people bashed her. Some years later, she got married. Somebody had the guts to make that comment of, oh, at least she got married. That man, she, that man pitied her and married her. When you make those sort of comments, you are exacerbating the rape culture in Nigeria. When you think those type of things, you are exacerbating the rape culture in Nigeria. When you put too much pressure, moral, morality um, and otherwise on women to be perfect beings in the society, you are exacerbating rape culture in Nigeria. When you do not hold your friends accountable, wh whether it's when you guys are chilling in a bar or whatever and they're making comments that show that they believe that they are entitled to a woman's body just because they've spent money on her on a date then you are exacerbating rape culture in nigeria when you keep quiet and you do not say anything because you don't want to say the wrong thing you don't want to say the right thing you want to be politically correct you want to be religiously correct you want to be seen as oh somebody who yes i'm standing against rape of course now rape is wrong but you're not saying anything then you are exacerbating the rape culture in nigeria i'm just using this platform whether it's one person or five people or ten people that hear it or that share it to men in the society and older women and younger women who are so used to victim shaming and victim blaming people rape is not a funny experience any form of sexual abuse is not a funny experience at all a lot of people go through PTSD a lot of people have to enter therapy just so that they can get over one experience not to talk of people who have experienced it twice three times people have been failed out of universities people's futures have been ruined because a lot of people have not been held accountable when they were sexually abusing um, students in universities are you just going to sit back and watch this thing continue to spiral out of control in Nigeria or are you going to lend your voice and speak up and say something and say this is wrong I'm a man and I take a stand and I say no to rape we're not going to stop talking about this support foundations I'm going to put some links in my description box of some Instagram pages of some foundations and initiatives that stand against rape and that promote awareness against rape what you can do if somebody who is a rape victim experiences rape what are the first things that they can do you know just providing medical and legal aid to people who have to go through this rape jokes are not funny so please let us keep on lending our voice to this awareness so that we can reduce the rape culture in nigeria that has been sort of promoted and been on the rise due to our societal traditions due to the pressures that we put on women due to the things that we have subconsciously groomed our children our male children to 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 see and to feel that it's okay with let's be okay with talking about sex in the society let's normalize talking about the things that women have gone through enough is enough of us keeping quiet enough is enough of women having to go through this and then hiding in one corner of the room crying themselves to sleep while added pressure is put on us to be perfect beings in a society let us be careful of the kind of comments that we make mothers when your daughters come to you to say that they have been sexually abused or they have been raped please 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 do not under any circumstance beat them do not think that they're lying do not shush them away do not ask them what do you know about sex what do you know about rape do not try to negotiate with the family of a rapist to try to cover things up your daughter is going through a lot if somebody comes to you and is telling you that their husband is raping them consistently consistently please take it up please in religious space do not is that's not the time to open scripture and be talking about how a wife should submit to her husband she's probably going through a lot be a listener listening ear to someone who comes to you and says i've been raped or i've been sexually abused do not ask questions oh what were you doing there ha -ha, you should have known better please that is not the time for you to say such things or to make such comments even on social media if you're watching this and on social media somebody is raped and you thought it in your mind because the society has not helped you the society has taught you to ask those type of silly questions when somebody has raped please don't post it they do not help and you're encouraging other people to ask such questions honestly and i feel like 
a lot of people feel like these things do not affect them because maybe they don't know anybody who has been raped you don't know a sister a friend or somebody who has been raped or sexually abused but i promise you in your circle of people at least one person has been raped or sexually abused and it's they're looking to you and how you respond to such situations to be able to come out to say these things so please be careful of what you put out there as you try to rid yourself of these thoughts that our society has somewhat imprinted on us so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please leave a thumbs up let me know what you guys think about this rape culture in nigeria in the comments and i will see you in my next video bye